Welcome for the homework for first grade module one, lesson six. First thing you want to do is write your name. You don't want to do all the work for your homework and you forget to write your name and then you turn it in and the teacher's like, ah, oh, this has no name on it, I don't know whose this is, and you don't get any credit for it. So pause the video, whatever you have to do. If you haven't finished writing it by now, write your name. Number one, match the dots to show different ways to make eight. Then draw a number bond for each pair. Our pairs two two together. So we're we're looking for pairs of dots. We have three here and five. We've been working on numbers, right? So lesson four we made sixes. Lesson five we made sevens and lesson six we're making eights. Six sevens eights. Okay, now we're making eights. So the first one is done. There's a 3 and there's a 5. Now here's the 3 for it, and there's the 5, and it makes 8. That's the total. So for B, now we've got the total on the bottom. And remember, they can go on the left. The total can be on the left, it can go on the right, it can be the top, it can be the bottom. The, uh, this is kind of set up to help you out that, to remember that the big box has the biggest number. So these two are done, and now let's look at this row we have a 2 and how many more do we need for 2 to make 8? Well 2 needs, we can just try this one, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Well that's not 8 so I can't link 2 with that one. So it's got to be this one here, right? So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So these two go together. And then that means that these other two have to, right? Because that's 1. This is 1. And that's, so we'll get back to that later. But here's B, right? So B, we're going to make the number bond for B. This was a 2 and a 6. So here we go. 2 and 6. And the total for all of these is 8. Right, because we're making 8, so 8 is our total. So when we look for C, that's this C. That matching, that number bond is going to match this combination of 1. That's 1, and this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, that's 7. So it's 1 and 7. 1 and 7, because there's 7 in this one, and 1 in that one. So there's three different ways to make eight. And now number two, show two ways to make eight. Uh, here's three. Well, we just, up here, if we look at part one, right, they've started us here. It says to use the number bonds above for help. Those are the ones we just did. So we have a three and a five. Well, here's a three, so it has to be a five. That equals 8. And then I could just take the next one, or that one, or I could just come up with a whole other one. But it has, to, it has to add up to 8. So I'm going to use this number bond, the uh, 2 and the 6. So 2 plus 6 equals 8. Uh, number 3, fill in the missing number in the number bond. Write two addition sentences for the number bond you made. So here we have an addition sentence here, an addition sentence there. They're going to go with this number bond. We'll do the number. We'll finish the number bond first, and then we'll know what numbers we're working with. Notice where the equal sign is to make your sentence true. Remember, sometimes you might put the total first, and then it really matters because well, you'll see what happens. Uh, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's 8. So if this part, if the total is 8, right, that's the total. If the total is 8, and this part is 8, then we can only have a 0 here. Because anything else is going to make it add up to more than 8. So we can only have a 0 there. So here we have our add-ends, 8 and 0. 
And the add-ins are always the numbers that are going to be around the addition symbol. Right? It's something plus something else. It was the 0 plus the 8, and it equals the total, which is 8. Now you notice in this one, the equal sign comes first. But here's the plus sign. That's the addition symbol plus. So what, what numbers are adding? We're adding 0 and 8. So we have 0 plus 8. And our total is 8. So the second one reads 8 equals 0 plus 8. If we had written 0 and the 8 here and the 8 here, we would be saying with these symbols where they are, right? You'd be saying 0 equals 8 plus 8. And that can't be true because if you're adding 8, if you're adding two 8s together, you're not going to get 0 for an answer. It's going to be 16. So, I mean, that's... You've got to pay attention to where the equal sign is, the numbers that you're adding, and the number that's the total. Number 4. These number bonds are in order starting with the smallest part first. Write to show which number bonds are missing. So here we have 0 plus 8. So the smallest part first. So these are the parts, right? The smallest part first means we're going to put between 0 and 8. I'm going to put the 0 first. And then this is 1. Right? This is still just a number bond for 8, right? So it's 1 and 7. And if this is a 6, this is a number bond for 8. If that's a 6, this has to be a 2. And here's a number bond for 8. Again, these are all number bonds for 8, right? For totals of 8. So if this is a 3, then this has to be a 7. So here we have it. We've got 0. These are all the smallest, it says smallest part first, which I think they really mean on the left, right? We read things from left to right, so whatever's on the left is first. So for this number bond, it's 0. For this number bond, 1. For this number bond, it's 2. For this number bond, it's 3. So we have 0, 1, 2, 3. And all we have left is 4 plus 4 for 8. Use the expression to write a number bond and draw a picture that makes 8. Now an expression in math is just, it could be, it really could be almost anything. But uh, usually when you see it in homework, it's going to mean a number sentence without an equal sign. So you're going to have, like, you're adding two numbers like this. An expression could be just a number, really. It could be a number that, that would be an expression, 8. Or you could have this. That's an expression with no equal sign, right? That's a number sentence because it has an equal sign and it's an addition number sentence because you're adding two numbers. So this is a number sentence, but this one isn't. That's only an expression because it doesn't have an equal sign in a total. It's kind of an unfinished number sentence. So that's usually what an expression means when you see it in homework or, or on a, a problem set. So we're using the expression. So this is our expression, 2 plus 6. To write a number bond and draw a picture that makes 8. Now let me get rid of this other stuff I used just to make my... This stuff, you didn't have to write all that down. I was just trying to make sure you understood what an expression was. So we've got 2 plus 6. So those are our add-ins, right? So that we have 2 here and a 6 here, and that's 8. And it doesn't tell us to finish the expressions. We don't have to make it. We don't need an equals 8 here. But we do have to draw a picture. So we wrote the number bond, done. Now we got to draw a picture that makes 8. And it's a 2 and a 6, so we need a group of 2. 
just going to make circles or big dots, two, and then a group of six. Six. There's a picture that makes eight. Two and six making eight. And now we have an expression to write a number bond and draw a picture that makes eight. Again, here's our expression zero plus eight. That's an expression. And so that's going to add up to eight, right? So our eight's going to be our total. And our add ends are eight and zero. Or zero and eight. It doesn't matter which add end you put in which of the smaller circles. Uh, and now we need just a group of eight and a group of zero. Groups of zero are really easy to draw. So I'll just start with the group of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And just all kind of together. Eight and then done. 